Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I want to take a look at the new extension from Mindsight Studios, Sketch Plus. So, Sketch Plus is a tool from the people who brought you Placemaker, which was just a super useful, super quality uh, extension. Sketch Plus is actually a suite, I'll call it a suite of different smaller extensions. So 30 plus, I think, different tools that you get in one package. And uh, we're gonna take a look at it right now. All right, so this is the extension warehouse page for Sketch Plus. If you come in here, you can actually see it, it does give you some information about what's in here. Uh, here's the list, like I said, ton of function. Um, just a bunch of tools all at once. So it is, like I said, it is a suite. It's not just a single thing that happens. Um, it is worth checking out. You can download it and run it for free for 15 days, after which you do have to pay a subscription price. It is a low subscription price for everything you get here. So um, if even half of these tools are sound like they could be useful to you, it's worth checking out and it is well worth paying for if, like I said, if you get functionality out of those. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when you install Sketch Plus. So in once you get it installed, you get access to these toolbars. You have six different toolbars, one toolbar for select tools, one for move tools, one for components, one for draw tools, one for material tools, one for tag tools. So I, I can't, <laughs> in the time we have here, in the uh, couple of minutes we get together, I can't run through everything. So there's too many here. So what I wanted to do is try to hit one, one tool that I thought was cool out of each of these. Some of this functionality is available through other tool sets, so it's not all brand new, but the fact that they're all brought together in one spot uh, where they, the, it, it has a cohesive feel to how they all work is super cool. So let's, let's buzz through a couple of these. Um, so the draw tool, well, start with drawing, right? So the draw tool has a make face command. So when, if you have a bunch of lines on the ground, you wanna make a face in there, you know, rather than tracing an edge to have it show up, you can select the make face command and it'll automatically create those faces. And then there's some solid tools here. So this is a good example of kind of how this, these tools function as far as input. So in here, I'm gonna click once and then just drag out a sphere. See that? and I could type in a specific radius or I can just ballpark by clicking. Same thing here, I got a cone. So if I make a cone, I'm gonna drag it to make it wide, drag vertically, and then another, a popular uh, solid shape is the torus. So again, I pull out this and then I drag in to set the thickness of the torus. So really super easy. And like I said, it kind of just sets the tone for how all this stuff works. When you create these solids, they are components, by the way. So I'm going to do something right now. I'm going to just explode this. So you get some raw geometry. I'm going to grab this one, explode it, and then make it into a group. And I'm doing that just so we can look at the next couple of extensions here. Uh, the first one here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to just drag a big window, select everything. So I have two components, Sumele and the sphere. I have some raw geometry in this cone and a group selected right here. One of the first things, or the first thing on the select toolbar right here is a select filter. So we've seen functionality like this in selection toys, but this is a different way of presenting. He, the uh, Mindsight Studios actually presents you with a UI here where you can choose what you want to select or not select and then hit a button to apply that filter. So it's nice because it's really easy to do progressive unselects or selects. So if I want to turn off groups, but then I want to only hold lines that are not in groups, that kind of thing. I can do that by uh, real easy with this UI. And you can see, I'm just gonna expand some of these out. So you can kind of see the things that are in here by select by tag, by material, uh, different entity types. Under components, you have the options of just selecting solids or non-solids. So if you're su searching through your model for things that are non-solids and need to be turned into solids, great tool there. Select by group, solid or non-solid, and then you have an option for different edge types. So all of this can be toggled on and off. So if, for example, I want to get rid of anything that's raw geometry, I only want to work with groups, I could come in here and I could say faces and edges, deselect. All right, all my raw geometry went away there. Now I'm back to just components and groups. At this point, I'll say, okay, um, I only want to select components, so I'm going to turn just components on and say select only. 
everything's not a component turns off. So nice, unique, uh, useful way to do that select filter. And here, here's one of the things that I really like. Um, I don't know why this, this just, this just gets me. I love it. Is the lasso select, right? So rather than having the standard select where it's always a rectangle, have the two, the, the dashed or solid lasso select lets me come in here and actually draw whatever shape I want and anything inside that is selected. Cool, simple, easy to use, uh, but something that I will get a lot of use out of. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make that back into a group because we're going to do some more stuff here. Um, let's look at this this one. So uh, here I have some some tools where th this is these are really cool. So these are my component tools. And I like I, there's this is one where I'm like I had to I had to think of which one to show. And I really this, this one's just so simple and it works so well. Move to origin. I do this if you guys have watched the live stream. I'll model something off to the side and then I'll get to a point where I need to work around a constant point on it and I end up sliding it to the origin. I end up moving it around by handles. This is so cool. I just click once, boom, boom, boom. Super, super. Hey, you know what? If I move this up like this, I have a stubby little Santa hat or a pawn. Um, but just a nice tool to get everything aligned. Just single click to jump into the origin. I love it. Um, all right, I'm going to erase a couple things here. I'm going to get rid of the torus and the cone. And I want to look at one of these tools, one of the move tools. This is a cool one, path array. I just like this. It's simple. The way it works is cool. Freehand tool. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to draw a line like this. All right, I'm going to select that line and then I'm going to hit the path array button. And I'm going to tell it to start right here. And this is the piece we want to, we want to put this piece along this path. And as you move your mouse back and forth, it just increases or decreases the number of pieces along the array. Check that out. So I'm taking my second one. How far along is my second one? And based on that distance, it puts more and more items on here. So I get to the point where, all right, that's the number I want. And I just made a nice little pearl necklace there. Real easy, real simple. All right. Just keep looking here. I got to, I got to keep moving. Um, we have some paint bucket tools and my, so there's paint all unpaint, but there's also this deep face paint. Uh, this will allow me to, you need to, you need to pick a color. Let's pick Sumela's yellow color. So I have the ability to paint into the surfaces on a group. Um, I can also paint just a single surface on a group from the outside. So I don't have to double click to go into the component and then paint. I can actually come in here and just apply onto surfaces as I'm working through here. And then of course I have this cool function, unpaint all. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> There's a lot of icons here. I'm not used to all of them. Unpaint all and boom, turn them all off. So a lot of good options there. And then I have a whole set here about tagging and untagging, also super useful tools. Um, really just a great set of tools that you can get all at once with Sketch Plus. So I did want to, I originally wanted to like cover twice as many of those, but you can see just going in and having fun and playing with those awesome tools. 10 minutes there, you can see a handful of them and there's 30 of those and they're all the same quality, same ease of use and just a great set of tools. Uh, so Mindsight Studios, Sketch Plus, 15 day free trial when you start and then uh, a yearly subscription after that. Very inexpensive, well worth it if you find value in those tools. Check it out on the Extension Warehouse and you can also check it out at sketchplus.com. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you have an extension you use that we haven't shown that you think we sh more people should know about? We'd love to hear about it. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.